everyone today is a requested video so many of you wanted to see how all of the new color one Karandash wax pastels look the colors that I have there are more but uh, these are the ones that um, that kind of caught my eye there's sadly not as many color choices as the new color 2 if I'm not mistaken, the difference between the Neo Color 2 and the Neo Color 1 is that the Neo Color 2 is water soluble. Uh, they're fantastic as well, but lately I'm really into the Neo Color 1 because of that resist effect. So, what we're going to do is we're going to swatch everything, and I'm just going to tell you how I feel about the colors. Ignore that, I just don't want to waste the whole page. Uh, I'm using my Cuddy journal and uh, Cuddy logbook, it's called. And um, it, it's a great little booklet for just swatching and everything. The paper is pretty bad, but for swatching, it's perfect. Uh, or good enough for me, anyway. So, the white is white. There's nothing to say about it. Um, most of these are from the little set. This one, 15, sorry, 15, looks like this. And then a few are extras that I picked up. So, this one is not from the set it's called sahara yellow i love it it's like a a naples yellow in a wax pastel form this bright pink uh, bright yellow is also lovely it's from the set and it's called yellow salmon is an extra one i picked up and you can see it's like this lovely uh salmon color then from the set we have orange um, this one is a little bit too orangey for my taste, uh, but I sometimes use it. This one is beautiful. It's called Vermilion. And yeah, you can see it's like a classic Vermilion color, that uh, orangey red. Then we have Scarlet. If I don't say if it's from the set or not, it means I don't remember, <laughs> but I'll try to list below what comes in the 15 set and what I bought extra. This is pink, this is not from the set, and it is a light uh, pink. It's lovely, I really like it. Uh, here I miss another pink in their color range, uh, which I actually miss also in the new color too. They don't have this kind of vibrant, um, less dark pink, which I wish they had. This one comes in the set and it's called purple and this is almost, almost my color. <laughs> it's just, I wish it could be a, just a bit brighter, but I use both of these pinks a lot. I wish they had a couple more pinks. This one is from the set. This is violet. I don't like it at all. It's kind of everything I hate in a purple, that dark bluish purple. Don't like it. Hardly ever use it. Ultramarine, um, it's, it's a nice color and I use it. Um, for those pops of color, which I also like to do with watercolor, with ultramarine blue in my paintings. Um, next, uh, this one is from the set. Light blue, I think it's in the set, I'm not sure. There's another blue in the set, but I can't remember which one. Um, this is an okay color, I sometimes use it. Kind of fall in and out of love. This I bought extra, this is light cobalt blue, and this one is really pretty. As you can see, it's a light cobalt blue. Then we have cobalt blue. I think this one comes in the set. And this one I don't like. Uh, I don't think it's cobalt blue. It looks more like a phthalo blue to me. It's just not my color these days. I don't really use it a lot. This one, however, Turkish, Turkish, tur turquoise blue <laughs> is quite lovely and uh, I do use it. I kind of, I am either in the mood for this one or this one. Uh, this I think I got extra. Then we have, what are you, Malachi Malachite Green. Um, this is kind of like a teal color. It's nice, it's nice. I wish it was a bit lighter. I don't like that it's uh, so dark. Uh, it's more vibrant in reality than the camera shows. This is emerald green. Pretty sure this came in a set because I would never buy this kind of green. Everything I hate in a green, never use this color. This is yellow green and this one is almost there. Uh, if it was less green and less garish and more uh, yellowish and more earthy, I would love it. As it is, I really don't. 
Gold is an extra color. It's one of my favorites and it is the metallics are not really metallic. They have a bit of a sheen that the other colors don't, but I wouldn't say they're like full on metallics. Um, this gold is a very beautiful um, kind of olive green, I would say. Uh, I really enjoy this color. Ochre comes in the set and it's actually a really nice ochre. I use it a lot for kind of line work around my florals. I really like this color. Uh, Yucky Brown, what are you called? brown <laughs> comes in the set never use this color really really hate it then we have scarlet then we have scarlet which is another metallic a really interesting color i still have to figure out how to kind of introduce it to my artwork i think it could also be nice for uh, accents in my floral pieces not maybe not you know in the center of the floral but it's a really beautiful kind of muted mauve color i would say it has a pink and a green and pink and violet undertones then we have black which you know it's pretty basic i hardly ever use it it comes in the set don't know what to tell you i don't really use it and then we have light gray again uh, i think it's from the set no, actually no, I bought it uh, on my own. And you know, it's a nice color, but lately I'm just not really into these kind of blue grays. I'm more into the purple pink grays. So, or even um, kind of very earthy greens. So I haven't uh, used this uh, a lot. I used to like this color more than I do right now. And I just want to show you now, let's add some watercolor. Um, just to show you how beautifully it resists. So usually the colors that um, that I add to my florals are kind of pink and corals. And you can see, I mean, I can go over <laughs> this, but it really just resists. So I can dab this very easily. And I really like these. They're great for sketchbooks. Um, I really have nothing bad to say about them, except that uh, I wish they came in more colors, uh, in my colors, <laughs> like, I don't care about <laughs> their browns or oranges, just, you know, give me my colors. So, yeah, I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, as I said, I don't have all the colors in the range, and a few from the ones I have, I hardly ever use. So I do really recommend, um, if you're very specific about color, pick up open stock and don't, um, yeah, don't, don't buy a set because like me, you might just um, find yourself with colors that you're not going to use, like that brown. That's not going to happen. <laughs> um, let's take a look at the, I just wanna see if you can like layer these. Yeah, not so much. You can see I'm going with the white over. It's not really happening. I think just because um, wax products, I think just usually don't layer as well as like oil-based. So you can see a little bit maybe with like a more intense color but that's yucky <laughs> I don't like that <laughs> so I wouldn't say they are um, really great for layering you can see that the colors don't really go I mean this is the this blue on this so if that's the effect you want maybe but yeah not working for me and then if I take um, let's try and I think I have vermilion no, this is raspberry red. Yeah, they have somehow better colors in the... Look at this beautiful color. This is a neo color too. Raspberry red. Such a beautiful color. And I'm just trying to see what happens. Yeah, I don't know. It kind of moves around. These um, are water soluble. So if that's the qualities you prefer, then the neo color too are great. Lately I've been... As I said, really, really into the Neo Color 1 for the resist. Anyway, 
I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon in another one. Bye!